So let me paint a picture for you. You're walking down the street, and you see a sign for that new modern art exhibit at the local museum, and you think to yourself, hey, I'm a pretty cultured guy. I should go look at some art today. Then next thing you know, 15 minutes later, you're standing in a room surrounded by other people, staring at a painting that's just a bunch of colors thrown on a canvas. And you're thinking to yourself, hey, this isn't art. A five-year-old could make this. And you're right. How could it even get into a museum like this? How does the art community accept this? Lots of questions pop into your head. But sadly, there are no answers. Until now. I'm here to tell you why it doesn't make sense. So let me explain. Modern art, as it exists today, is simply a tool for money laundering used by organized crime. Now, you're probably thinking, what is money laundering? Well, money laundering is a way to transform the profits of crime and corruption into legitimate legal assets. So for example, let's say some massive cartel sells 60 kilos of coke for, I don't know, $30 million. Now they've got $30 million in illegal money. So what do they do? Well, they launder it. They buy some piece of art that looks like a rainbow threw up on a canvas for $30 million. Suddenly, the money's legal and can be spent however they want. Now, this creates a lot of stir in the art world, so naturally some pretty rich elitists decide to follow suit, and thus birthing the modern art movement, thus covering the tracks of the cartels that purchase modern art to launder money. So hats off to you, El Chapo, because you've ruined art and laundered all of your money successfully all while convincing a bunch of rich people that they think they can understand something that has no meaning at all. Thanks for watching, and please consider subscribing for more fun conspiracy theories like this one.